in this video we're going to look at myotome testing of the lower limb and is also going to include the lumbar sacral plexus. I normally start off with the patient's hip into 90 degrees and then when we resist muscles basically they will tell us what part of the lumbar spine or the sacral spine the, the problem is coming from. So for instance if I ask my patient to pull a hip against me, just resist against me, so she is hip flexing and basically it comes from L1, L2, L3 and the, rather than being specific nerves for this when it's normally known as the lumbar plexus because it's, it's psoas in particular that's activated. So if we pull in again, so that's testing L1, L2, L3. The next one we're going to do is we're going to ask a patient to pull the knee this way so the patient is going to adduct. So using the adductors and the nerve root is L2, L3, L4 and then that will be for obturator nerve. And then next I'm going to ask my patient to push away, so to abduct. So this is mainly the glute medius, which is superior gluteal nerve coming from L4-5, but also TFL is an abductor as well, which is also superior gluteal nerve L4-L5. From here, I can ask my patient to slowly straighten the leg against my hand, so push up against me. So we are testing the activation of the quadricep, and that would be L2, L3, L4, and that's coming from the femoral nerve. From this position, we can ask the patient to slowly pull the heel towards the bum. This is testing two components. One part is the tibial of the sciatic, and the other component is the uh, peroneal component because of the free hamstrings. And it's coming from, well, the two components come from L4, 5, and S1 and S2, but then this mainly activates the hamstrings, which is more the lower part of the plexus, which is S1 and S2. From here, what we're going to do is I'm going to ask my patient to pull the foot up and in and just match my pressure. This is mainly L4, which is coming from the tibialis anterior, and that would be part of the peroneal component of the sciatic. And then from here, I'm gonna ask my patient to turn the foot in and just match. Now this one is interesting because one, it tests the peroneal component of tibialis anterior, but because it's activating tibialis posterior and the flexors, it also tests the tibial component. So it's L4 and L5, but it's two parts of the sciatic. I'll ask my patient to push the foot down. So this is mainly the gastrocnemius and the soleus. This is mainly S1 nerve root and is coming from the tibial component of the sciatic. The last one is to turn the foot to the outside and to match the pressure. And then this is testing S1 nerve root and that's testing the peroneal part of the sciatic. And we'll just add in one more there. You okay? And then if I just ask my patient just to hold the big toe up in this position, this is actually from extensor hallucius longus and it's an L5 test and is coming from a peroneal part of the sciatic nerve. And there we have myotome testing of the lower limb and that includes the lumbar sacral plexus.